Hello and uh, welcome back to Fallout again. Just a little more of the gameplay on the same day, cause I just feel like playing it. Dang, I missed. Um, well, I got to take care of these mole rats now. But um, <clears throat> I guess uh, I want to show the cheat room. the The cheat room that I have installed uh, is from the mods menu. Um on the Xbox Series S or X version of the game, which I think is the same version as the Xbox One. And I usually don't use mods, but an easy way to get mods that actually work on a console is you just go to the mods menu on like the main page when you first open up the game. You'll see one, two, three, four, five, I guess six down. It says mods. And then you probably have to put in like an email or something. And then after that, you can actually just search and look for something called Cheat Room with the Xbox One in parentheses. And you'll find this room right here. Um, a lot of people who have played Fallout 4, I'm sure, have dabbled with mods. I usually don't play with mods, but like I said in my last video <clears throat> today... I just don't really feel like playing the game the way that they want you to play it, like, you know. So, I'm just going to show you around the cheat room a little bit. Does it crash the game? Sometimes, yeah, but the game crashes on its own a lot as well. Here it looks like uh, you can change your character. Whoa. Alright, so, I got a, a tan on my face, um, but nowhere else on my body. Um, okay. Oh, well, that's fine. Whatever. I'll have a tanned face. Um, cool. Maybe not use that, that one. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe avoid the character editor. But anyway, um, there's a lot of places you can jump to. Um, there's different locations that they have. Um, if you go down to the, the place that's labeled cheat items again to like a larger room now this is kind of like the retooled uh, cheat room there is an older version of the cheat room that you can actually get to in this bigger cheat room here's like all the power armors in the whole game um, here there's just gonna be it's a shooting range there's just a bunch of raiders or whomever in T poses and you can literally just take out whatever gun you want and just kind of like practice um, I need to practice with this type of uh, scope on this old, uh, this old, I guess it's a pipe gun. Um, I guess they keep on respawning. I haven't really spent too much time in this room. So yeah, it looks like they just keep on respawning, so you can just practice using whatever weapons that you have there. Um, if you do have DLCs, you can also download uh, Cheat Room DLC mods as well you'll have this little note that says why isn't this in this room i have the dlcs installed you need to download patches to all the different uh dlcs so download them to come back and you'll have these rooms filled with stuff from uh, the different dlcs i believe this one is from nuke world and i mean everything's labeled yeah this one's from far harbor which is one of the biggest dlcs i think that they've made ever um besides maybe the DLC that they're working on for Starfield right now. Who knows how the hell that's going to affect that game. Uh, I haven't even played Starfield in a while. That game, just, it just disappointed me so much. You know, I, I saw this game as kind of like the beta version of what Starfield might be. And it, it's, it's not. It's not. Uh, this game, in my opinion, is just more fun than Starfield. I mean, it's more gory. Um, it seems a little bit less cut and dry, you know, a little bit more unique, I guess, in a lot of ways. Um, but hey, this is the type of games that they're good at making, and I kind of wish that they just kind of stuck with the Elder Scrolls games and the Fallout games. Um, here is the Automatron DLC. You can actually make some Automatron uh, robots. Um, I haven't even unlocked any of the these 
quests with his character yet. Uh, I just you been kind of like scrolling around in the cheat room and just like grabbing some stuff, building some stuff. Um, and uh, I'll show you the old cheat room. So this is kind of like a compiled version of the kind of retooled cheat room. And this has a lot of the same stuff, just in a smaller, more compact area. Um, I'm not sure what these trap doors are or anything. Um, I know that they have all the type of workbenches, weapons workbench, chem stations. Um, you can see you can make a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, <clears throat> I'll have to dabble in that a little bit more. Once again, there's a bed in here that you can like sleep on. Uh, there's a couple power armors. I think those are power armors you can get from... I think there's a New World power armors. I'm not exactly 100% sure. Uh, they might... No, you know what? Those are Far Harbor. I, I'm, that, that red power armor and that green power armor, Far Harbor uh, power armors, I think. Because uh, I believe that both of them are in, like, uh, soda buildings that are that have been abandoned for a long time. And it's a whole quest to try to get them, if I remember correctly. Um, and here, it's really cool in that little first aid, you can get, like, experience points. So you don't even have to really play the game. You can just <clears throat> grab some of those experience points. I would say start with, like, a thousand experience points, just one of them at a time, because it does kind of break the game a little bit. Um, <clears throat> but that's just a little bit of the... Um, cheat room so hope you enjoyed it it's a fun little place to check out and uh, go for it all right i'll catch you later bye now